Did you cut the net? Oh my gosh, dude. What's happening, fish and friends? Welcome to another episode out on the John Boat with uh, the Brando. What's happening, man? What's happening, fish and friends? We are out on uh, kind of windy night. We didn't know it was going to be this windy. Not crazy, but we got a little ripple. Few clouds. Hopefully, we can get on a few bites. We're going to start on the rocks here. Maybe get on some top water later. So enough yapping. Let's go fishing. But I didn't catch a giant. Just as I said, whew, glad I didn't catch a giant. That's not what I meant. I meant that I wasn't recording and just flipped it on. Oh boy, did I catch him. All right, well, skunks out of the boat for old Debo. There we go, yay. Well, there hasn't been any talking or updates because it's been an absolute grinder of a night. My first fish only took about, oh, I don't know, 74 hours. That's what it felt like anyway. And these rocks. We're on them now, boys. We're on them now, boys. Two casts in a row right there. Hell, that might be the same fish. No, it's not. Yo, hey, yo. Okay, there we go, two, ow, oh, prick. Trying to be nice about it, I was gonna say there we go, two on the homemade Debo Ned jig. A little Ned rig, yum. Forget what they call it, their new little Ned rig, which is kind of interesting, it's got an air pocket in the back. So it's supposed to like trap air in there and help it stand up. Remember when people were doing that with the KVD finesse worms, they would take them and hollow the tails out, help make them float, get air bubbles trapped up in there and such now they got companies that make them with the air holes already in them three in a row did i get you oh no no all right well three casts three fish those are all three different fish that is a mondo at least we're catching though, man. There was, like I said, no updates, no nothing, no bites. Cranked, I threw a chatterbait, threw a buzzbait around some shallower wood. Nothing, hasn't been until I picked up a homemade Debo custom Ned rig. A little bit of a skirt on it, weedless. And a little, little Ned yum dinger on the back. Three casts, three fish. Can we go four for four? Working it slow, man. They want it slow, slow out here. No, no, just broke it, didn't I? Did you? Yep. Okay, well, broke it off, plan B. Let's see if they eat a regular Ned head. Bragging about my custom. Maybe this is a sign, this is what I'm throwing, the Yum Ned Dinger, Northern Lights color, kind of looks like that, uh, uh, what the hell is the color on Z-Man? The deal looks like the deal color from Z Man. I threw two of these in my pocket when I left because I'm like, man, I don't know that I have any Ned Rig. Two of these, two of these made up that I had on the workbench. Threw them in. Hopefully, they will still eat this, even though it doesn't have the uh, beautiful Debo skirt on it. Oh, it's the Yak Attacks that have the music, not the. I'm like, how is that getting louder? Is it seriously? Yeah. No. Oh, how? How does that get caught under my... Come on, I got fish to catch here. Did I break off again? Oh my god, I did. Yeah. Hey, you caught one, Brando. You caught one. Hey, it's another Debo. I caught that fish already. Caught that fish three times right here. What is out there? What is out there? Huh? See, the same thing has happened to me. Straight cutting it. Huh? We'll find a different spot. 
Okay, Ned rigs. I need to make a crap ton of Ned rig heads. I got a raging clue. You got mouthy and I had to slap you around. What happened to Brando? Why's he got a black eye? So one eye. Well, got lippy with me. Got him. Hit it like a monster, but. All right, there we go. One on the buzz bait. Thanks for eating, Fowler. Hey, that's a Debo Custom, too. It's a Night of Debo Custom. That's my, uh, I don't forget what do, do it calls that. It's like the uh, longer swim bait rib thing deal. I do love a little naked buzz bait bite. Just like Brando said, it's too deep over here. Don't throw the buzz baits, what he told me. I started throwing, he said, oh, it's a musky. <gasps> Did you cut the net? Oh my gosh, it's a musky. Can you bring it over here? Oh, get out from under the boat. I don't know. Oh, it's a good musky. Oh my gosh, dude. Here, watch, I'm just gonna grab him with my... Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm gonna try to keep him in the water. Oh my gosh, look at that muskie. Do you have a tape? What do you mean a tape? A tape measure. No. Well, you don't have a measuring tape? No. Oh my gosh, what kind of boats you got? How do you grab this thing? Here, watch out. I got him, I got him, I got him. He's, he's hooked really well. Oh, there it went. Dang it. No net. Man, well, that was still freaking awesome. That would have been my PB musky for sure. I should have grabbed that. I'm sorry. Oh, no, you don't need to be sorry, man. All right, well, throwing the buzz bait, that was fun. It's always, every time I've ever caught a musky, it's always been on bass stuff. Always. All right, Fisher friends, super fun trip out in the garage now, getting ready to make some baits because. Man, you experience the highest of highs and lowest of lows sometimes when you're fishing. Getting ready to make more stuff, like I said, because some of the things, actually most everything that I caught fish on was off something that I made. The first thing was this. These are my little Ned jigs, and I don't say game changer very much, right? There's a lot of options, but as a bank angler, an EWG Ned rig head like this has saved me so much. Now, even there, you could see out in the boat, I was still getting snagged. I don't know what it is out there, but I was getting snagged uh, on something that was very, very sharp. I would start popping my line. I was breaking my line. That was eight pound fluorocarbon. So don't know what it was, but I need to make some more of these Ned rig heads. And this is what I've been tying up these little Ned jigs. Caught my biggest fish of the year on one of these. And it's not a ton of skirting material, just a little bit to give it a little bit of extra flair. Had good luck on these. And I think there are certain days where uh, Dizzle and I have been out and he's out fished me five ten to one on a jig when i'm using a regular ned rig some days it's been opposite i've crushed him with a ned rig he can't catch anything on a jig so kind of marrying the two together um i think they definitely have their spot gives a little extra flair who knows if it makes a ton of difference but if it makes you more confident that's what matters now the second thing and the bait that uh, hooked the largest fish of the night which was that big old musky wish i could have got it in brando didn't have a net i was giving him crap i'm like you don't have a net you don't have a tape measure what's wrong with you um he was apologizing should have grabbed it listen no fault to him i mean uh it's kind of tough when you got a big musky like that unless you have a big net because i didn't want to bring it in and get it all you know knocked around in the heat like this i mean water out there was like 88 degrees um, and the crazy part, if you notice, when that musky came up and slurped this, this is a pretty small, you know, this is the um, Jacob Wheeler Finesse buzz bait. I'll leave this link below. Have really liked it. And I tried to put some times in there where I was just moving this because it's already got a really good squeak to it. I haven't done anything to it. I've just fished it. Already a really good squeak. Good compact profile. It comes with a skirt or where you can put your own trailer on it. And that's what I was using. My own little trailers here. These are the do-it molds, the little... Um, ribbed swim bait looks like kind of like a Kai tech you know a longer Kai tech was using these had some different colored tails I had cut and put on there um, just to give it a bit of a different look but 
that caught my biggest fish of the night. Wish I could have landed the darn thing and measured it, but didn't happen. So I really like this buzz bait, like making my own trailers. And I just got the slick shiner mold from Do It. Look at that as a little trailer on there. Absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to fish some of these. But that's what I'm in the garage doing now, making some baits, hanging out, because if you've not tried making your own stuff, it's a bunch of fun. Yes, I am partnered with Do It. Yes, I do work with them, but I wouldn't work with a company that I didn't like. Um, they're Iowa folks, full of a bunch of good people, and it's fun to be able to, you know, when I'm here in Iowa, out in the winters, being able to come out here and make my own stuff, you know, paint baits downstairs, do other things fishing related. I do ice fish some, but, you know, I can't do that every single night. So being able to do other fishing stuff and keep my mind sane uh, in the crazy winter months when I can't fish. So if you've never tried making your own stuff, you know, whether it's something you use all the time, you just want to kind of create some of your own colors, like a white or a, you know, a lavender purple. Maybe you throw craws all the time. You want to make some of the new hatchet craws. Whatever it is, it's a cool way to make your own stuff. I know some people are like, can you save hundreds and hundreds of dollars doing it? Maybe on some of the stuff. If you throw a ton of stuff, um, you know, like this, these little swim bait heads, if you throw a bunch of those, I forget what they call that. That's their new swim bait head that they released this year. It looks really good. But if you throw like, you know, a ton of stuff like that or like arky jigs or something, maybe. But for me, the big thing is the being able to create this stuff whenever you want it. You don't have to go to the store. You can whip up, you know, 20 of these in no time. And you can make your own crazy cool colors because I feel like everybody's always chasing that like secret color. So you can make your own, you know, kind of black light purple special that nobody has and be like, that's what was catching. I'm sorry. Got to get some. I also have people asking me questions on this. I did share a picture of it. This is the Halo Rod 7.3 medium heavy and it's more like a moderate fast. It's actually got a really good bend into it. And it's kind of an interesting rod here because as you can see, the trigger is flat and long, which I like. I like a longer trigger and all this here is bare. That's the blank or the, the little slip that slides over the blank. Sometimes that's not actually the blank, but in hand, feels extremely good, very comfortable, easy to palm. Um, I like the rod a lot. I don't know about sensitivity. I can't really talk to that, but um, as far as moving baits, like larger single hook moving baits, chatter bait, spinner bait, um, this combo has been absolutely excellent. And the, uh, the reel, that's the 13 Fishing Origin Limited uh, that one of my subscribed fishing friends sent me. So thank you all. Again, I could not do this without all of you here. I try to make that known every single video because, again, I feel like not enough people thank their subscribers. You know, you'll see a thing that, oh, thanks guys. And it's like, I don't know, I feel like it's like an afterthought thing, but any YouTuber wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all you out there watching. So I try to make that uh, as importantly known as I can. Uh, I'm just a guy who loves to fish like all you guys and gals out there watching. So it means a bunch to me. But anyway, I'm gonna get to making baits. Love y'all, thanks for watching. And until next time.